it's another day here today and I'm in my kitchen again because I have a lot of things I wanted to prepare that I didn't get to do the other day. So I started off by making some um, Instant Pot chicken, which is now in my Instant Pot. So all I do, you could either put frozen or thawed chicken. Today I had thawed chicken, so I put it in for 12 minutes um, and you seal the pressure. If you have frozen chicken, you just put it in for 15 minutes and then both recipes, you let it naturally release for 10 minutes. So mine has been doing that and it has done that. And now it is time for me actually to release the rest of the pressure. So I'm just gonna flip the little knob. Oh, it's already released <laughs> those 10 minutes. It's probably, it's probably in there for a little bit more than 10 minutes. Um, Cause I was outside picking tomatoes from my garden, but here's what the chicken looks like. And I need to make shredded chicken for the chicken pot pie that I wanted to make. Um, so I am looking for, normally I do this into like, and they throw it into my uh, KitchenAid. Um, the past couple of times I was doing it with forks, but it's just gonna go into chicken pot pie. And like, Babe doesn't really like the chicken to be too mashed up. He still likes big chunks of chicken. So I'm thinking I'll just take my hand mixer and mix it a little bit. We'll see, we'll see how that turns out. So I'm gonna grab my hand mixer right here. I'll even, um, to make it a little better, I'll even just use one of these instead of both. Perfect. And this is just like my little handy dandy KitchenAid um, hand mixer that you charge. So no wires or anything, which is so great, really. It really is so great when I'm making stuff and I don't have to like worry about plugging it in, even though I have an outlet right there and I have one out right there. It's so great. <laughs> All right guys, so I'm gonna pour out most of this broth that I have in here. Um, I don't need all of it in order to shred my chicken, but I will keep some of it in here just to keep the chicken nice and kind of moist. So I have some left in there, the rest of the broth. I don't know what to do with that. Do, do people actually use that? I don't know, after the chicken has cooked in it, I'm not really sure. I normally just throw it out after that, but. All right, hoping this one mixer deal thing works in here. Oh my goodness, oh gosh. All right, I'm just trying to get like these larger chunks now. I keep moving around. That worked a lot better than the KitchenAid. So the KitchenAid tends to turn it into kind of like mush. This, you still have like some kind of chunks of chicken inside. And it looks like Hazel Roni wants a piece. It's hot, baby. It's hot. Blow. Here you go. Oh, is that yummy? Okay. Can you wipe your sleepy still? Here you go. Was that yummy? Yeah, even though she just had a chicken cutlet and some cucumbers for dinner. Yeah, because that's what we had for dinner. So that's what she had. So now I'm going to make some pie crust, sourdough pie crust. And this has to ferment on the counter for eight hours. So I'm getting it started on this and I'm just gonna have it ferment overnight. I will have the link um, to this pie crust recipe down below, but I am using a sourdough one. Um, so I need one and a half cups, or no, sorry, one and a quarter cups of butter. And this is gonna make like two, I guess, pie crust, the top and a bottom, or I guess enough for one pie, if you will. Um, so that's what I'm doing. And I'm gonna do this twice but two separate times, just because I want to make sure that everything is um, equal amounts in here. So this is half a cup, so yeah, now I need a quarter. Okay, And then, so I'm just adding it all to my food processor here. Nope, I wasn't supposed to do that yet. I was supposed to do flour and salt, but <laughs> it's fine. We're just gonna combine it all together now. All right, so one teaspoon of salt. Sprinkle it all around. And 
and then one, nope, two cups of flour. But this is from my pot pie. You could use the same recipe for like regular uh, pies also. But I'm doing a pot pie. So I got <laughs> the wrong lid. Um, and then I gotta add in my sourdough starter after this and some honey. But first, I gotta work that in. <laughs> tablespoon of honey okay and I need one cup of sourdough starter and to be honest I don't know how my sourdough starter is still somewhat bubbly it has died down a lot I fed it last night it was up to here like to the very top and you can still see it's past my um, rubber band so it's still somewhat active but I'm gonna throw this in okay so now I'm gonna mix this in so I got one bowl here and here's like my dough it looks fantastic this is exactly what it's supposed to look like um and it's just gonna ferment on the counter oh my gosh that was like the third time hazel's ringing the bell but she was just outside <laughs> all right so it does like stick together as you guys can see um so i'm just gonna kind of shape this into like a ball so it's not just all crumbly And then I'll let this ferment. Right. And I'm just gonna use one of my bowl covers. It says to cover with like a towel. My bowl covers are pretty much the same thing because they are cotton, which is great. Hazel, you were just outside. All right, so here is one pie crust. So one teaspoon salt. And then tomorrow morning, I have to um, put that into the fridge, the dough, for like an hour or so, and then I could roll it out. All right, so there is my flour. I know you don't need to go outside again. You were just there. You're just like ringing that bell lately. Okay, blend that together. And another cup of starter. Okay guys, I only have big bowl covers left, but it'll work just fine. But yeah, I ran out of, of my small ones. I mean, I do actually have a small one. This one from my sourdough, but you could see my sourdough kind of got to the top. So I'm just gonna flip it, use the other side, and then I'll put this in the wash um, tomorrow because that sourdough needs to come off at some point. But that's the great thing about the bowl covers. They are machine washable, so they're fantastic. So next up, guys, I'm going to make the chicken pot pie filling. And this is not a task I was prepared to do um, right now at 10 o'clock at night. It is literally 9.54. Um, so this is not something I was prepared to do. And I'm still going to peel these. But um, I will at least chop up all of the 
veggies so that I guess tomorrow morning I could make all this because I want to make everything and make a mess in the kitchen before the house cleaner comes tomorrow um, so that I'm not doing this afterwards and having to clean the kitchen again again so I'm trying to do this all now I'm going to have all the recipes linked down below but in addition to that I'm also gonna have all the kitchen tools I use so mixers instant pot um, my rolling pin that you guys will see later um, my cutting boards literally everything that I use my food processor everything I use will be linked down below and if there's something I miss please let me know and I will add it to the links down below Okay. Alright. Hazel, still a carrot. So I just grabbed another one. She said. I'm kind of wondering if I should just do this now, but it's just so much. Okay. I'm going to get my Dutch ovens out. Everything is currently a mess in here, but we are going to do it. Oh wait, no, it's the wrong one. We're going to start cooking this. Okay, so I got my two Dutch ovens going. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, okay, it says six tablespoons of butter in each. I know that that's not melted yet, um, but I need some space, and so I'm adding in those carrots. We gotta chop up the other ones, and um, then I gotta also chop up onions because they're supposed to go at the same time. And I'm standing funny because Hazel is right <laughs> under my legs right now. Okay guys, I think I'm just gonna throw this in the food processor since I still have it out. I'm gonna quickly give this a rinse. Okay guys, got my food. My hands are wet. This didn't chop up. It was just a little too big. <laughs> this is puree guys. I should have used, um, I don't know, one of the blades. So. This is puree, it's fine. I guess you really won't taste it in the, uh, in the chicken pot pie. All right guys, everything is on the stove, taking a break, having some chocolate mousse. It's only 10, 15 at night, and here I am cooking and having chocolate mousse. It's fine, everything's fine. All right, I'm gonna add in some garlic, it says three garlic cloves, so that's usually like one of my cubes, but these somehow stuck together. So we're gonna go with two. And I just, I freeze them in advance. All right, 
have my mushrooms chopped up. This is probably not enough than what I'm supposed to be using in each, but we're going for it and we're using up my mushrooms. All right, next step is us to add in one third cup flour. I hope you guys can still hear me with the vent on, but I'm adding in one third cup flour. And guys, I love this chicken pot pie recipe. If you guys just want to make the filling or use your own pie crust, maybe that you buy or whatever, I'm gonna have this link down below because I just, I make it all the time. It is so good. Best chicken pot pie ever. And that's coming from somebody who never even liked chicken pot pie until I made it this way. So um, definitely give it a try if you guys like chicken pot pie. All right, now I need half a cup of heavy cream. That's the end of that one. At least I was prepared with ingredients. And then here is the chicken stock from making the chicken before. So I'm going to throw that in. And the other one's just going to get regular uh, bone broth. And I'm just going to add in a little extra and just finish this off. And then here's the two cups for this one. So I'm going to keep cooking these down until they get a little thicker, so I think I'll turn up the heat just a little bit. Um, and I just need them to get a little thicker here. Oh wow, this, one, this one's a lot more yellow. It's very interesting the way that these two are cooking. This one browned more with the ingredients, this one's just more yellow, and I wonder if that's from the chicken stock. But yeah, we're making two. So the recipe says to add in frozen peas. I don't have peas, but I have this mixed bag from Costco. So I'm just gonna add in a cup of that to each one of these. And then we're also gonna add in the chicken. So it got a little thicker. Um, it's not fully thick yet, but I'm gonna go with it. It's gonna thicken up though, as soon as I add in um, the chicken. Cause that's gonna soak up a lot. All right, so I have like approximately one cup there. a bunch of ice too. And I'll we'll add in a little extra for good luck. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to grab my shredded chicken. And we're going to throw that in there. So the recipe says to add in four cups chicken and I always find that to be too much so we're gonna do I guess three cups of chicken it's still a lot of chicken but and that's most of this and I think I'm just gonna go give some to Hazel now So I just cleaned up the kitchen a little bit. I did all the dishes and stuff, but there's one more thing I want to make and I can't bake it until tomorrow, but it's sourdough scones. So I'm going to put the dough together, we're going to cut it up and then it has to be refrigerated. So I'm just reusing my food processor here again. I didn't wipe it down though, so things are probably going to stick to it, but anyway, I'm going to combine all of these ingredients, a little flour, yep, all right, just gotta reach all that, one tablespoon of baking powder, that's a lot of baking powder, and half a teaspoon salt, So it says mix those together and then I have to add in frozen butter and I've been freezing my butter for a couple of days 
for this recipe specifically. Yeah. All right, here we go. Oh goodness, a lot harder to cut, guys. I need a band-aid. What happened? I need a band-aid. No, I'm not touching it. It's my finger. Alright guys, I can't really cut this butter. And I had cut myself instead. Okay, but we're gonna try to get this combined. Pretty good job with the butter. All right, then it says to coat the mix-ins with the flour. Um, I'm doing blueberries, and it's supposed to be one cup blueberries. This doesn't really look like one cup. Maybe it is, but maybe it is actually. Oh, just about one cup, so I'm gonna throw that in there. I don't feel like washing more right now anyway. Okay, and oh, I should have taken this out. Okay, and now I'm gonna do the wet ingredients in here. So we need a half cup of sourdough. I feel like all I'm ever doing is <laughs> using um, measuring cups, guys. <laughs> I just use a lot, but I'm gonna use this one cup and just try to fill it up halfway. I did want to make a double batch of this, but that's clearly not happening. Okay, I'm going to need an egg. Okay, here's my one egg. one teaspoon vanilla extract. So this is half a teaspoon. So I'm going to do two of these and some three tablespoons of heavy cream. Oops. One, two. Okay, I'm going to mix this together. Okay. And then I'm going to add that in. I'm just going to stir that until that's combined. All right, this dough is supposed to be flaky, but it'll stick together like that. So now what I got to do is shape it. And this is kind of like the hardest part because I'll shape it, but then it like sticks to everything. Um, and last time I had to use a spatula to get it like off the counter and keep it shape. So they taste really good though. It's like the best ever scones recipe. All right, I just wiped this down with paper towel. Now I'm just drying it off um, so that I could put my dough on here. And I got my baking tray ready with um, one of the silicone mats. All right, normally I would put down some flour. I didn't refill this yet though, so <laughs> whatever's left in there, that's like, <laughs> that's nothing. Okay, but we're gonna go with it. Um, so, uh, I gotta roll out this dough into a circle. I see chunks of butter in here, guys and that doesn't seem too good. I feel like this worked out a little bit better last time, but I also don't remember. Anyway, so I'm just cutting it with this thingy here. And I need eight pieces.
right, and I'm just gonna pick some of these up. Yeah, this is the hardest part, <laughs> picking this up like this. Alright guys, this is going to go in the fridge and I will see you guys back tomorrow to finish the pot pie and bake the scones. Alright guys, it is time to finish everything that I started. I have my oven preheating to 400 and yes, I'm wearing the same clothes as I wore earlier yesterday morning, but it's fine. I'll continue with this video. But anyway, I'm refilling this all-purpose flour right now. I just cleaned my counters too. And I'm trying to do this all before the house cleaner comes. And she's gonna start upstairs, so I have some time before she cleans the downstairs. But, oh my goodness. Oh, and she's here. <laughs> As I said that, I just saw her pull up. Okay. Well, anyway, got these, this, oh my gosh. See, I'm making a mess. All right, I got this refilled. And I still have dishes I gotta do. All right, so I put this in my fridge this morning. Oh God, we need to let this, how am I supposed to roll this out? <laughs> oh my goodness. I think I gotta let this sit out for a little, so I'm gonna take the other one out too. All right, I split my dough into two. I'm gonna try to roll this out. Of your chicken pot pie and a toothpaste and pie crust. Okay. Use other than that. Other than that. Other than that. Other
is preheated, so I gotta coat these with some heavy whipping cream and then some sugar on top. Alexa, set timer for 20 minutes. My scones are ready and they look delicious. I love these, so good. There's the love one and then here's the second one. It says, it's me, hi, I'm the culprit, it's me from, you know, Taylor Swift, but just the it's me high part. <laughs> I just had fun with the leftover dough that was like hanging off, I just rolled it out and had fun with it. All right guys, so that is it. That completes this set of videos. These um, pot pies are gonna go in the freezer. Um, sorry, you guys don't get to see the finished product, but they are freezer meals because when I go back to work, I need some meals in the freezer. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up this kitchen, do some dishes, um, have a scone for breakfast with some coffee, or maybe some banana bread from the other day. Haven't decided yet. I want both, but we'll see. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this cook and bake with me video or kitchen stuff video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next video. Talk to you soon. Bye.